Hello and welcome back. Today we have another easy answer random order video for the 100 questions of the U.S. citizenship test. We are going to speed things up today though. I will only say the question and answer one time in this video. Let's see how you do. Instructions first. These are the 100 official civics questions, also known as the 2008 version from USCIS. You will be asked 10 randomly chosen questions. You must get six of those 10 correct in order to pass. Please know that this is an oral test, so there's no multiple choice here. And remember, you only need to provide one answer unless the question specifically asks for more than one. Okay? All right, my friends, let's get started with how many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Harris. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Name your U.S. representative. Answers here will vary. Remember to go to house.gov and type in your zip code and address. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for civil rights. What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. 
What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Who is the father of our country? Washington. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary here. Please find the capital of your state. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Roosevelt. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. J. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? What is an amendment? A change. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and join a political party. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary here depending where you live. Please go to Senate.gov and choose your state to find your Senators. Who was the first President? Washington. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary here. You can go to the USA.gov website and click on your state to find your governor or just ask us below. <laughs> Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? 
two. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Jefferson. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Eighteen and older. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. In what month do we vote for president? November. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. 
What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech. Freedom of religion. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Biden. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Who vetoes bills? The President. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day, President's Day. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. Who was president during World War I? Wilson. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Said that the United States is free. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. The Civil War. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. 
What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Obey the laws of the United States. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. Please remember, though, that the civics questions are just one part of the interview. Please remember to also review your N-400 application before going to your interview. Have questions about that? Ask below. Thank you for joining me today for this very quick video. I hope you did well. If you like this video, please subscribe. We totally appreciate your support. It means a lot to us. Please know that Essa Group is not a law firm, but we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.